Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back on the Daytona. This is going to be volume number three. So we are got it in paint. <clears throat> we have the hood painted, rear spoiler, the bumpers. And somewhere here we got a front bumper. And we got the front bumper painted. So our sunroof job turned out pretty nice. Has a little line around there, but this body's pretty soft, so flex is really easy. So it's kind of hard to keep that intact. Other than that, I don't know if you guys ever drink burners, but they have some limited edition stuff out, and mm, not a fan of it. Kind of tastes like some blackberry fago pop or something. Anyways, <clears throat> moving on. So this Daytona was painted with Tamiya LP43 lacquer paint pearl white so this was sprayed with my 0 0.0 airbrush which just does a pretty good job and that has a 0.3 needle in it i probably should use my pache brush that has a 0.5 just due to the metallic uh, but it did spray pretty good so i didn't have no issues with it and like I say this is just a lacquer paint so i'm never impressed with the shine on a lacquer that's why i'm, I'm a big enamel shooter you know, because obviously we're going to have to put a uh, clear coat on it to make it look pretty. So other than that, but I do like it because it drives fast. So that's a plus. So we are moving on to the decals. So like I said in the previous video, uh, my car that I'm trying to replicate, uh, I painted mine pearl white. And the decal on the door that just said turbo, mine didn't say turbo Z. So here's the decal sheet. So we're using that turbo decal but mine on my car was red with black outline so similar to this so what I did is I scanned this and I'm gonna I made my own decal so I'm not sure if you guys ever have used this before let's take a look at the other side of the bench here hold on this is the inkjet um, decal paper this is white uh, they have it in clear I have multiple sheets here and I also bought the tester stuff a long time ago but I'm not looking for the white background I want it clear and I want you to use that use their uh, decal bonder and this stuff works pretty good I've used this many times so for instance you guys have seen this trailer before I made these decals on the computer same thing the front and back I guess you really can't see it because these decals were kind of nasty looking um, from the original kit. They were more yellow versus orange. So yeah, so the stuff works really good. Uh, you can see it smudged a little bit on that corner right there. So it prints out very nice. So if you guys have never used this to make your own custom decals, it works really well. Just your biggest thing is, is to make sure that your scaling is correct. So once I made this, sometimes it doesn't quite scale it properly. So I had to just kind of go back through and make sure it's the same size. Now I could have played with this a lot more and took the, it's a little pixely if you got right up on it and looked at it. That's just the way this one copied out. So looking at this one really close, if you look at this under my magnifying glass, it has a little pixelation to it. So of course when the computer picks it up, that's how it's going to look. Get a little foam block here. Set the car up in here. Work on it like so. So, if you guys don't have something like this, this here is the coolest thing. A little show and tell item here. This is the foam strips you buy from Home Depot, Menards, wherever. And they come in four foot chunks. This goes in your gutters. It's like a gutter protector. And I find it works really well for this. So, a little tidbit for you for the day. Because it's soft, and you can cut it, trim it, however you want to use it. It works good. So, we are going to clear coat this with, with clear gloss lacquer. 1017 MCW. I do not have any Tamiya clear, so I'm hoping this does the job. I've never used that before. Like I say, I'm not a big um, lacquer sprayer, not a big lacquer guy. But um, we'll make her happen. So 
I think that turned out pretty nice. I had a few issues with it when I was painting it. I didn't realize my primer was run on a couple spots because uh, I sprayed that roof a couple times and wet sanded just to make sure there's no uh, issues with it from when the sunroof was in there because that earlier video I showed you, I kind of filled that in. So moving on, we'll get that decal put on. We'll see how she looks. So we got these printed off. They turned out pretty nice. So I sprayed it with my solution. That should be pretty dry. So we got our candidate sitting here ready to go. Now this decal is just a shade smaller than the other one. I mean, it's just a little smaller. So hopefully it should look okay in there. It should turn out all right. That should look pretty good. Yeah, so yeah, so we're going to try that out. But like I say, I got two of them printed off and we're going to try this out and see how it works. And we'll take a look at it here in a few minutes here. So we're working on these wheels and that has taken some time to fill all the little holes in with the old uh, panel line paint. Just give them just a touch. Doesn't take much, but it's a little time consuming, but it does make a difference. We'll check that body out in a minute. We got her in the Suze Bake Oven Curing and we'll take a look and see where we're at here. Okay guys, so we got these rims done. Those turned out pretty nice. Just a light sanding on the tread. And all the body is painted. So this was painted with the Tamiya Pearl White. And then it has the MCW uh, lacquer clear coat on it. So all the pieces are done here. So I'm getting ready to do my black spray on the inside. I'll mask that off. So the edges we filled in, those turned out pretty nice. Same with the spoiler. The rear deck spoiler. I had those dimples on the end there, so that turned out nice. And the body turned out really good. I'm really happy with this. Those are my little decals I made. So that turned out pretty good. Got our sunroof all filled in. Yeah, so it turned out pretty nice. That's obviously all dried out and sitting in the cooker for a little bit but lacquer obviously clear dries pretty quick anyways so that is good to go i'm not a big lacquer shooter um i don't know this is changing my mind no i mean i've done lacquer before but i've always just used enamels just because they were so nice to they always seem to gloss out really good but uh this is my first time using this mcw uh lacquer and i'd say i'm pretty impressed with it that turned out pretty nice so I'm going to do a different model, a uh, different color with lacquer, and I'm going to try it. It's, just, it's got a pretty good shine to it. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Like I say, the nice thing about it is it's all cured and it's good to go. So it's I can mask it off, do my black paint around the windows, and all that good stuff. So so then that, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up for now. And I have a idea on painting that interior, that checker for that interior. So um, I'll do that in the next video round. And... Should be able to get it pretty much buttoned up. So like I say, just another update on the Daytona project. And we will see you guys the next time around. So appreciate you guys watching and tuning in. And you guys have a good one. Thanks again.